If you've ever Googled acting books, you'll be aware that there are thousands of them. But what ones are actually any good? I put together a list of five acting books that I think are worth your attention. They cover different styles and approaches to acting. Watch until the end to find out what acting book I go back to time and time again for my professional auditions and rehearsal processes. You can't have a list of acting books that students should read without mentioning an actor for pairs. Stanislavski is often regarded as the godfather or founder of naturalism. This book will be on every drama school's reading list. An Actor Prepares explains all the famous Stanislavski concepts like emotional recall and the magic if. A lot of the popular acting styles that are used today are based on the principles that Stanislavski created in the early 20th century. For that reason alone, I believe every actor should be aware of or should have read this book. Some people do find this book a bit of a battle to get through. Personally, I found it okay as I would read a bit, then think about the ideas and concepts and then try and apply it to my scenes or monologues and then I'd go back to the book. If you were to try and read it all in one long session before bed, you might find it a bit more of an effort. Stella Adler opened the Stella Adler School of Acting in New York in 1949 and to this day it is regarded as one of the top acting courses in the world with a list of Hollywood stars having trained there. The Stella Adler acting method has many different elements to it but if you were to try and describe her acting philosophy in one phrase it would be that she believed that to grow as an actor you had to grow as a human. What I love about this book is that it is a collection of tapes, class notes and transcripts all brought together to make one of the most influential acting books of all time. And a huge bonus is that it is very easy to read. Make sure that you pick up this book and not her first one, which Adler herself admitted wasn't that good. You've probably heard of the term method acting. American director and writer Lee Strasberg created what we refer to now as The Method at the Actor Studio New York. When we think of method acting, we normally think of an actor staying in character for weeks on end throughout filming or the rehearsal process. But actually, the method acting technique is a combination of ideas and exercises that can be applied differently by different actors. As a book, Strasberg's method is an easy to read, comprehensive manual of method acting. It gives you exercises and tasks that cover every aspect of the technique. It really is an impressive resource. Meisner Technique is a style of acting that has become extremely popular in the last few years and it was created by Sanford Meisner. Although Meisner Technique is based in the principles of Stanislavski, the main difference is moving away from the idea of emotional recall and substituting one of your memories into a character's situation. Meisner Technique is more focused on living in the moment and responding truthfully. Meisner training involves a lot of improvisation work before you even start using a script. I love this book because the way it is written. It follows a group of students training in the Meisner technique for a year. You learn about the exercises they do and the mistakes the students make along the way. Plus, you get the teacher's point of view on why certain things are important. If you're interested in learning about Meisner technique, I would recommend this book first over Sanford Meisner on acting. It's loads easier to read and more enjoyable. If you love this book, then maybe go on to read that one after. My final suggestion is one I personally found hugely beneficial and I keep going back to it time and time again. And that's How to Stop Acting by Harold Guskin. Some of the top actors in the world would go to Guskin for acting coaching. This book is more of a guide on how to approach and interact with scripts. What is particularly good at is making you be creative with the delivery of your lines. A very common fault for young actors is that once they've learned their lines, they're locked into one way of performing. The speed, the intonation, the choices, everything becomes locked. They lose the ability to react and act in the moment. The exercise in this book really helped to prevent that. For you in your audition, this freedom and creativity is a fantastic quality to show the panel. So what is the best style of acting? It is all down to the individual. Every actor has a different process and you need to find the one that works for you. If the result is a believable, engaging, truthful performance, 
that is all that matters, not what approach or technique you use to get there. I mentioned at the start of this video that there are thousands of books on acting to read. Start with one of these five, read them, then try and apply some of the exercises to your acting practice. You need to be practicing and rehearsing to become a better actor. Reading the books isn't enough, so take the time to practice. If you have a book on acting you love that I haven't mentioned, put it in the comments and let me know what it is and why you love it. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit the subscribe if you've loved it. If you have any questions about your upcoming drama school auditions, please get in contact through the website chironauditionprep.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.